Nick Walker and Samson Dowder's crazy six-month transformations, Mr. Olympia updates, plus Sergio Oliva Jr. looking huge. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back for another bodybuilding news video. And let's kick this one off with Sergio Oliva Jr. He posted up this photo today looking absolutely enormous. He's now working with Neil Hill, formerly Chris Aceto, and it seems like he might have a new training coach as well in Dorian Yates. There's some rumors going around about that. I've got to actually follow up with Sergio and ask him about that. But awesome news if he is actually going to go out and stay with or live with, I don't know if he's living with Dorian Yates, but going out there to Spain to train under him for a little bit of time. I think it will only do him a world of good and to get out of Dubai. And this is another photo he posted up the day prior, looking pretty damn huge here as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Sergio Oliva Jr. does next, uh, because I'm sure he'll be back with a vengeance. Our next physique update comes from Breon Ansley, multiple time classic physique Olympia champion. Uh, I believe he was the second classic physique Olympia champion. And then was obviously overtaken by Chris Bumstead. As far as I know, there's only been three classic physique Mr. Olympia champions over the time. And he's looking really damn good. He did make the decision to move from classic physique to 212. He's bulking out for that, put on a little extra size. And then obviously the new weight limits came in for classic physique which gave him a few extra pounds. And he thought, why not do that? It makes a lot of sense for Breon. He always wanted a few more pounds to play with, and now he's got that. So it's going to be very interesting to see what sort of package we see from Breon Ansley. He's not the youngest guy in the classic physique. Obviously, there's a bunch of really young guys like Ramon, Urs Kalachinsky, a whole bunch of really young guys. So he's definitely on the older side. You can see here in the ab and thigh, he's losing a little bit, I'd say, in the quads, but he comes in so sharp and so good every time that it really sort of offsets that and he brings an amazing physique to the stage. He poses well, a really good competitor. And I think we could see him back up in that top five in the Classic Physique Olympia this year once again. And our next physique update comes from Regan Grimes and he's looking absolutely enormous. And I'm sure him and Milos are going to be dialing it down and trying to get in really razor sharp conditioning by the Mr. Olympia. But the fullness is there. It looks like he's holding a good level of conditioning and he's still got a few more weeks to really push it down and come in great shape. And the fact that he did beat Nathan Diasha not being in his best and Milos Sarchev in podcasts I've listened to since then was saying this is not Regan's best in terms of conditioning. So... It's scary to think that if he can beat a Nathan Diasha, who I'm sort of predicting the top 10 of the Mr. Olympia in 2023, if Regan dials it in enough to where people are like, look, we're really happy with his conditioning with the new added size he has on his physique right now, he's going to be very, very dangerous for that top 10 of the 2023 Mr. Olympia. And the next update comes from your one-time Mr. Olympia 2019. Potentially could make it to this year if he comes in at his all-time best in Brandon Curry. This was posted by his coach Abdullah and says hashtag, and he put hashtag, and he put hashtag bodybuilding. So that's what Mil Sarchev often says in terms of the silhouette of bodybuilders. And Brandon Curry certainly, certainly uh, epitomizes that. He's got great shape and he's looking really good and in really good shape at four and a half, five weeks out of that 2023 Mr. Olympia. And we got to see a bit of a collab here with Terence Ruffin and Brandon Curry. Now these photos were actually from two weeks ago. But Brandon's looking pretty damn impressive in these shots. And I think the legs might be a slight issue for Brandon if it's really close between him and a few other guys. So that's where he could fall down a little bit. But if he brings enough fullness, if I don't flatten out too much, he gets the cuts out and brings in really good conditioning with enough fullness, then I think Brandon Curry is going to be very dangerous up in that top five of the 2023 Mr. Olympia. And I don't think these shots really show up the conditioning levels of these guys to the full extent because Terence Ruffin was inside out peeled uh, right around this time. So I think that it does these guys no credit in terms of their actual level of conditioning right now. And obviously you can see the size difference. And it is interesting to see a top five Mr. Olympic competitor against a top five classic physique competitor in the world. It's uh, cool to see that sort of difference. And Terence Ruffin is on the slightly less muscular side compared to some of the guys he's actually standing on stage with and competing against, and apparently came in his all-time lightest, or at least lighter than the last time uh, at that Dubai show, which was a couple of weeks ago now. 
Now, I have some crazy transformations to show you guys from the likes of Nick Walker and Samson Dowda, but we'll start with Nick Walker. So he posted up this physique update uh, with the caption you guys can see on the screen right now. And he's looking very damn impressive, but it becomes more impressive and more noticeable when you see the comparison from four weeks out of the 2023 Arnold Classic, which is obviously earlier this year, to four weeks out of the 2023 Mr. Olympia. And as you guys can see, the first thing that sort of pokes out at me is the shoe change <laughs> from Jordans to New Balances. So he's matured in the footwear uh, and the physique, but uh, just kidding guys, obviously. But uh, the physique is popping a lot more and it looks like the conditioning is there even more so. And he was shredded at the Arnold Classic earlier this year. So I think his body is responding amazingly well. Like look at the pop on the delts. Now it is slightly different lighting. He does look like he's whiter on the left as well, but it, well, it is the same lighting really. So I don't know what the changes have been, but he looks dramatically better at this stage. I think he's really pushing down for that Arnold Classic. So while the conditioning looks much better on the right than the left does, which is blowing my mind because he's bigger as well, he's possibly like a little bit flat on the left more so. Maybe he had a cheat move the night before the update on the right. I don't know. You don't know sort of where these guys are at in terms of their prep and what sort of been happening the days before, what did he just train, all that sort of stuff, or is this flat? But it is a noticeable difference, and he was very, very good at that Arnold Classic earlier this year. Had he actually won the contest, I don't think you would have heard too many complaints, to be honest, but he is noticeably better, and that was just earlier this year, and Nick has talked about how much heavier he is as well. So there's talk of him, I think he said 17 pounds bigger he's predicting he's going to be. That's what he said a few months ago. So that's crazy. And I'd say overall, when he's got more size and he's keeping the waist the same size, overall, he does look more aesthetic. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Can Nick Walker win the 2023 Mr. Olympia? And the next comparison from March 2023 to September 2023 is Samson Dad. I've seen this posted up a few different spots. And he's definitely got better since that time as well and definitely added size. And hopefully for Samson, he comes in that little bit sharper and that's what the judges have asked for. And that's what he needs to bring to the stage. So if he can come in a little bit sharper than the Arnold, he's consistently getting sharper each contest, which is great. And that's what the judges want to see. And that's what the judges really notice. Have they improved since last time? Where were they at last time? And just naturally, if they're sharper than last time and bigger than last time, Generally, they're going to do better than last time. And he's just won the 2023 Arnold Classic earlier this year. So Samson is a legit contender to win this 2023 Mr. Olympia, as I think Nick is as well. And it's crazy because we have so many guys that could potentially win this Mr. Olympia. You think of many scenarios and you think, yeah, I can see a world where Samson is so tall, he's so overwhelming, he's so round and comes in his best condition ever where he could potentially win that 2023 Mr. Olympia. But we also say the same for Nick too. He's got such a crazy level of muscularity. He was close to Samson at that Arnold Classic. I don't think it was a blowout by any means. And if he gets that much better, 17 pounds bigger with the same conditioning, how can't that win? <laughs> so it's sort of mind-blowing how good these guys are. And if Brandon Curry, who's been, you know, prior to last year where he placed fourth and was just sort of missed it in terms of conditioning... The three years prior, he was top two at Mr. Olympia. So if we see an all-time best or close to an all-time best Brandon Curry, he's going to be right up there once again. So it's a very, very exciting Mr. Olympia in 2023. And we've got one more update from a guy making his comeback in Jeremy Bundia, who's posted up this looking crazy jacked. He looks pretty damn shredded and he's got a good level of muscularity coming back to his physique at four and a half weeks out of a 2023 Mr. Olympia. And let me know what you think in the comments. Will Jeremy Bundia beat out the likes of Aaron Banks and all these other guys and win the Men's Physique Mr. Olympia and make it, I believe, five or six Men's Physique Olympia titles? Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, and also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding, and just liking the video helps me out a lot in general. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. My name's Xavier Wills, this is Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are out. <laughs>